The sleepy Neko finally awakens with a massive migraine due to their hangover. Do they call out sick today, or... Hmm? Oh, don't mind me. Just narrating. Yes, again. Now, do they call out sick, or... Yes, I will be here all day. Now, do they... Can you stop interrupting? I don't go to your work and prevent you from doing your work. So, what if I do? Two wrongs don't make a right, you know. Now, will the Neko call out and sleep it off, or get up and deal with it? The Neko has decided it will be a little bitch and sleep it off today. The journey to the kitchen to take some ibuprofen will be a perilous one. Will they be able to stand up and walk? Or are they still too tipsy from last night? Let's find out. I said, let's find out. You're going to have to get up eventually. Do I have to do everything for you? Fine, be it that way. The Nekos then noticed a cup of clear liquid on their nightstand, thinking it was water they left out last night. They go to drink it. What? Of course it's water. Go on, drink it. Realizing that their drunk self is actually an asshole, they spit out the vodka that burns their throat once more. They must go to the kitchen now. Ahem, they must go to the kitchen now. You know I cannot continue narrating if you just lie in bed all day. What am I supposed to do? Talk about how you're moaning and groaning and how much pain you are in from your poor decision making at two for one shots? There you go, up and at em. Oops, that's okay, get back up and try again. <sighs> Try again. The Nico realizes that they are unable to walk and starts crawling on the floor like the child they are, towards the kitchen and towards the water and medication. Oh no! They realize as their medicine cabinet requires them to stand. It will take some superhuman effort to get up there. Whatever shall they do? Of course, I'm not helping. My job is to narrate, not encourage you. Find your own way to solve your problems. Don't, don't curl up on the floor. It's dirty. Are you, are you crying? Things will be okay. Um, um, ah, suddenly, in a supper of hope, they remember the food that they had saved in the specific moment. So, they open the fridge to find... It was actually yesterday by their drunk self. Oh, that was good. I really got your hopes up, didn't I? But hey, you're standing now. You could easily reach your meds now. Look. My methods may have been mean, but they are efficient, aren't they? The hell should I know what you're supposed to do? I bailed you out once with the fridge. My only job is to narrate. Hungry, smungry, you're standing now. That's what you wanted, right? Yeah, yeah, growl all you want. Not going to fix your stomach. Anyways, you're not supposed to be talking to me this much. Go on, back to it. The Neko shakes their head in frustration, tail puffy and twitching in their anger. How could the narrator be so mean to them? What had they done wrong? The answer is, of course, is exist. After taking something for their headache and drinking a <gasps> bathtub's worth of water, they will now have to feed themselves. Clearly, their favorite food they were supposed to save is gone. So, what do they do now? 
Oh, goody. Your partner's here to check on you. Are you ready for some more fun? Oh, no. They cannot hear me, which will make it all the more fun to watch you squirm as you resist the urge to yell at me. Go on. Answer the door. Don't leave them waiting. The Neko greets their partner at the door, looking as disheveled as they did last night. Did you even change clothes? Their partner asked. The Neko paused. Do they really still have to invite their partner in? Should they ask for help in taking care of themselves? Of course, they want to ask for help, but the Neko isn't actually like an adult cat, but more like a helpless little kitten that cries out for their mom every time they hurt themselves. But as incompetent as they are, they still have their pride. Do they toss that aside so they could function for the rest of the day? Should they? They do. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Look at you go. You finally admit you are a useless adult that still drinks like they're in their early 20s and thinks that the hangover wouldn't kill them in the morning. Sullen and embarrassed, the Neko sits on the couch waiting for their partner to finish cooking up food for them. Their partner now... Hmm? What was that? Shut up. Oh, buddy, you know you aren't supposed to talk to me right now. What if they hear you? Okay, okay. Look, the story is almost over, and I promise you it has a good ending. I am serious. I fucked with you for a while, but in the end, I do want the best for you. Now shush, they're coming over. After scarfing their meal in a span of 30 seconds, they look at their partner with pleading eyes. Oh, what is it you want, kitten? Sheepishly, they ask to be petted, in which their partner obliges. You're welcome, little Neko. Now, sleep well. You've provided me with a lot of entertainment today. Thank you.